Good afternoon, gentlemen, and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be show, I'm going to show you how to pass in flags into your application, and we're going to do a little bit more setup on our server um, object here. So the very first thing we need to do is to show how to bring data in, and how I like to do that is two ways. There's a config file, so that way you can package up your application and send it to somebody as like a let's say for example you're developing on Linux and you want to build your application for you know people who use Windows people um, who use Linux and Mac and and uh, it's nice to have you know one build process and then a config file that you can just pass and they can adjust what values they need if they don't know how to use command line stuff right but the first thing we're going to do is command line so go has a package called flag which allows you to pull data from um, command line arguments and assign them to variables right so we're gonna first import that flag like so uh, we're gonna need an init function and uh, just a quick aside on init functions if you're not familiar with them how they work is they run um, once this um, essentially this package gets uh, called so they run first and then the package runs so in this case we need to have uh, let's see a port right and we're gonna um, say uh, oh, we need to parse it flag dot parse like so and that will parse all the data and in enter them into variables we say flag dot uh, this is a string variable like so we're gonna make a pointer to that to where it's assigned to which in this case is port um, this is the command line argument so for example you say um, app uh, well I guess it's Linux right app and then uh, port equals 5000 it will assign the port to 5000 makes sense now this is the default value right here we're going to default this oops we're gonna default this to let's say 8000 like so and we'll put a nice little message here uh, assigning the port that the server sh um, should uh, buy uh, listen to oops listen on there we go and now in the initialization we can pass in port like so um, and then inside the init function up here we'll pass in a port it's a type string and we'll say that this is equal to colon port there we go and now we have a default value of 8000 so if someone doesn't pass it in we get 8000 or if someone does pass it in we get it assigned and we also don't have to include the annoying little um, semicolon which is not necessary on to the actual port number users should necessarily know need to know about that okay and now um, we can I'll show you how this works real quick so we'll say um, go run oh, let's see this um, starting server on port and just we'll just do this real quick uh, port um, Number there, and we'll say go run main. Like go so it's on 8000, or we can say go run main port uh, 3000. On 3000, see that nice and easy, right? Cool, so now you can pass in nice little command line arguments into our application. Um, another, another way of doing this is there's the um, env way of doing env file way of doing things, so we'll create a new file here. We'll say config dot i and i or you can do json you can do whatever you need to do but i just like to do it this way we'll say port and we'll say 6000 for now we'll save that now we need to go grab the package so go lang in oops it's a go to env i think is what it's called no it is env gosh dang it there you go 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 to uh, I don't know what that D stands for but anyway so we need to add this to our package dependencies so we'll say dep and sure sure add boom I'll add it. it's gonna complain because it's not included anywhere but we'll do that here in just a second yeah it's gonna be included now so we'll say go to env like so and then on the init up here we'll say need to actually load the data like so and we'll do it we'll do it this way if error 
is not equal to nil. We'll panic for now. Well, we'll handle it better later on, but we'll panic for now. And then we'll say, um, uh, say EV port is equal to OS. That, oh, that's right, we have to include the OS package here. OS um, dot get E and V like so, and we want to include the port. We'll say if length of E and V port is greater than zero, then we'll assign E and V port to that value. There we go. And that should work. So now we can say um, make. Did I mess that up? Going main 19. Oh, oh, that's right. You have to pass in what it actually is. It defaults to look for an EMV file, but in this case, we're doing config.ini, which is different. And make. Boom. Port 6000. See that? Port 6000. So what's doing is it's is well, now you wouldn't necessarily program it this way, but you see here if there is uh, an EMV in the INI file, then it will assign it. So it's going to override whatever the flag gets passed in. So this is just, I mean, you wouldn't really program it this way, but I'm just showing you how to do it two different ways. So if you want to do command line or you want to use an EMV file, those are two good ways to pass in arguments into your application. All right, gentlemen, um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.